of us like to keep things of sentimental value. Perhaps for you it's that rose from your first prom corsage or that trophy you won in Little League Baseball. I think that sometimes our parents are even more sentimental about things from our childhood than we are. And I bet that if you looked in their attic, you'd find all kinds of old toys and things that you yourself had completely forgotten about. It's those treasures from the past that make our memories of childhood just a little sweeter. But some of us never want to grow up. This is an event that even Winnie the Pooh wouldn't have missed. The town of Stratford, Ontario is out to greet the Teddy Bears Convention, and people from all over have come to celebrate their love for childhood's favorite toy. My bear was uh, born in Peterborough and lived there all of his life and was just reclaimed recently after uh, having suffered a f fair period of neglect. And, uh, but it's doing quite well, though, as I think you can see. Honey Bear comes from New Jersey. I, it was a Christmas gift to me. And his ribbon on his hat used to be a belt on my mother, one of my mother's dresses in the 40s. So I thought I'd put it to good use. Well, this is uh, Hubie. His actual name's Hubert, but uh, he couldn't get all the Dayquil letters on the shirt that he wanted. He was a little miffed today because he wasn't in the fashion show last night, so he just went out and bought a pair of sunglasses. And he couldn't get a string for the back, so he's going to do a little shopping this afternoon. Of all the creatures in the plush animal kingdom, the teddy bear wins the popularity contest, Paws Down. People save their bears for sentimental reasons, but they also value the toys as collector's items. It's at conventions like this that they meet to show off their teddies, expand their collections, and learn about the history of their bears. Do you identify them for me? Yeah, that's an uh, early start from about 1905. Artist and collector Beverly Port has been preserving bears for about 25 years. What's the bear's name? Ralph. She traces the origins of the toys and gives gold seals of authenticity which state everything she knows about the bear's history and its current market value. The original Teddy was named after Theodore Roosevelt when the president refused to shoot a live bear on a hunting expedition in 1902. At the same time in Germany, the Stiff Company started manufacturing this distinctive stuffed bear to be exported to North America. The immediate affection that children of that era showered on their furry friends was no different than today. It's just that now, adults are obsessed with it, too. It gets like a disease every time you see a new bear. Um, you've just got to have them. We don't call it buying Ted's. It's freeing them. 40% of plush toy sales are bear sales, with prices ranging from $5.99 to hundreds of dollars. But let's face it, it's the lovable aspects of the bears that you can't put a price on. Now, everybody knows that when bears get together, they love to eat. And this teddy bear convention just wouldn't be complete without a picnic for bear lovers of all ages. We may grow older, but teddy bears never age. They just keep us in touch with those wonderful childhood memories. The days, the days, the teddy bears have their picnic. Every teddy bear who's been good is sure of a treat today. There's lots of money. Teddy bears are big business these days. I saw a mink-covered teddy bear recently selling for $5,000. We'll be back with more pizzazz right after this.